So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. The question says the graph of function f is shown in the xy plane above, where y equals f of x. Which of the following functions could define f? So there are some very important features here in this graph that I want to point, um, point out to you. So these are x-intercepts. The x-intercepts of a graph are very important in terms of how we describe the function that represents that graph. These x-intercepts actually tell us the binomials that are a part of the function. So for instance, this first x-intercept goes through the x-axis at negative 3. That tells me that one of, my x, one of my binomials should be x plus 3. It's always the opposite sign of the x-intercept itself. We have another one here at negative 1, which means I should have x plus 1. Now notice the difference between the x-intercept the x -intercept at negative 3 and the x-intercept at negative 1. At negative 3, we're going through the x-intercept. At negative 1, we're bouncing off of the x-intercept. That tells me that this has to be squared. Okay? And then at positive 2, we have another x-intercept, which tells me I have to have an x minus 2. Again, the sign is always opposite of the x-intercept. We also have a bounce here off of a 2, which means this is also squared. All right, so just understanding how to read this graph gives me the correct answer to this question. Therefore, the correct answer here must be choice C. The way that you could test this, right, if you wanted to reverse engineer, is if I write out answer choice C, for instance, f of x equals x plus 3, x plus 1, squared, and x minus 2, squared. The x-intercepts are where y is 0, or where f of x is equal to 0, which means I'd, if I were looking for the x-intercepts of this graph, I would say, well, 0 equals x plus 3, x plus 1 squared, and x minus 2 squared. Whatever my x values are that allow this equation to be true, right, where it's all equal to zero, those are where my x-intercepts are. And the way that I would solve that is by setting each of these binomials individually equal to zero. And here's why the sign is opposite, right? Because once I set these equal to zero, to solve for x here, I'd have x equals negative three, right? And that's this one. Here, I square root both sides with square root of 0 is 0. I then subtract 1, and I'd end up with x equals negative 1, which is this one. And then the same thing here. I'd end up with x equals positive 2, which is this one. Okay? So really the tricky thing to remember is that squares go along with the bounces, and no square goes along with the going through.